Hey everybody, welcome to Mom Plays. I am Mom. This is Fallout 4. I am really, really, really sorry. Um, we left off. We were in the Institute. Father gave us a um, mission to go with this courser X688 to the Libertalia, which is that big ship over there, and um, retrieve a courser. So I have been recording that, and then my recording software locked up, and it erased that episode. I apologize profusely, but there's no way that I can go back and get that um, footage back, A. And B, there is no way for me to go back and record it because I deleted my previous saves trying to save space. So we are stuck here with X688 without you guys really knowing why we're here, except for the explanation I just gave, which is we're here to get a synth. Um, whoa, there's a good glitch. A synth that um, went rogue. So let's uh, let's finish killing these guys and do it. I am so... Cosworth, if you push me off, I'm going to fucking kill you. I am so absolutely pissed off right now. That's how pissed off I am. I just one-shot that guy. Um, yeah, I am really, really ticked off right now. Um, because we had some good battles coming up to here. And looted a bunch of stuff. And, yeah. Anyway... All we can do is go on, and that is what we're doing, so let's go on. Okay, so we are almost to the main portion of this, which is the Libertalia. Let's grab those. Anything there? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, what about... Okay. That. I do not want to fall. There's that. Turrets should all be disabled. Spotlights out here should all be disabled. We disabled them in the episode that you won't see. But they are disabled, so. Come on, X6. Um, this way. I do like doing this mission. The, the Libertalia is such, this is such a cool place. Uh, I want to say dungeon or level, because technically it is, you know, a dungeon or a level. But, I mean, it is just so cool the way everything's, like, floating out here. And there's this awesome ship. It's just, I love it. So there's a guy right here who always has a missile launcher on him. And we need him to die. And he is not dying. I mean, we, we, we really, we really want him to die. Trying to figure out where that guy... Okay, where you're running to. Where is my missile launcher guy? Because... Show your face! Come on! I dare you! There's that guy. I thought I heard something new. Oh my god. Nothing's gonna save us now. See, that's... that's he doesn't just have a... This guy's got a mini nuke on him. Usually this guy has a missile launcher. That was not a missile launcher. That was a mini nuke. That does not make me very happy. Okay. All the way back here. Why not? X6. You... Mm. 
You are very much in my way. I very much don't appreciate that. Just get... Okay, that was weird how I got to jump up on there. Let's just hit this guy. Only... Oh... Come on, show your face. I dare you, as y'all like to say. Not alone. We are not alone. You are right. You are. You are absolutely correct. Fragmine X6. I don't. Okay. You can trust me. I see you. Gotta stay far. Nope. <sighs> there we go. All right. So I guess we will do this all again, and I will try to be better about not getting hit by nukes. Uh, that turret should not be firing at us. That was weird. All the spotlights and turrets are supposed to be shut off. <sighs> I'm just, I'm just not having good luck with this because this was going to be a two-parter. This. This should have been the second part, etc., etc. It's just so annoying. Okay. Come on, X6. We've got things to do. Do I have something better than this to pick raiders off with? I might, actually. And that should be looked at. Um, I'm gonna come right here. And then I'm going to look through... I have a sniper rifle. Uh, but I want to look at... Oh, yes. Okay. <sighs> Beautiful. Got him. Oh, I can't believe I missed that guy. There we go. Oh, really? That missed? Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? True. Beautiful. Okay. We are definitely doing better this time. Oh, don't move. Son of a bitch, where did he go? All right, well, we are safe to walk for now, so let's just walk across here. Oh, look, somebody that we had killed, apparently. Okay. I know you're here. Do you? Do you know I'm here? Oh. Beautiful. All right, I'm not so angry since we're doing okay this time. Let's uh, carefully... Make it across these. Because I've been known to fall into the water multiple times here. And then the fun thing is, is that this all connects back to the beginning. So if I go that way, I'll, I'll end up back at the beginning, which is fun. Uh, but that is not where we're going today. We're going this way. Ooh, look at all that stuff I can sell. Ooh, and a safe. Ooh, with a happy expert lock. That that was nice. Okay. Uh, I did not want to take that, but I took it anyway. Okay. Anything up here that I want? I don't think... Oh, ammo case, I guess. We will take the ammo. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through.
Okay, so we want to get over here. Oh, the board fell down. What? Oh, you son of a bitch. That is so annoying right there. Oh, that is so flippin' annoying. Come on. Can you tell that I'm having a great, great, great <laughs> recording episode? Uh, it All it does is... I'm stuck. I am stuck. I'm stuck. That is beautiful. I'm really liking being stuck here. I shouldn't be stuck, but I am. Come on, man. Let me up here. Fuck. I am not having a good day today. Put the gun away. Thank you. Swim over here. Climb up here. Climb up here. Thank you. All right. Now we're cooking. That was... Okay. Chill. Calm. Chill out. Calm down. It's okay. It'll be fine. Let's go. yet so there's that we got these guys though that's beautiful um do I care about this I guess so well it has a plasma grenade in it and therefore I care a little all right Turn on our light because I like to be able to see what I'm doing here. Turn that back off now that we've alerted that guy. So basically, Gosh, fucking seeing things. I'm a legendary raider. You do. You have a concussion. <clears throat> Don't hide from me, dude. Just let me shoot you. Just just let me shoot you. I just want to shoot you a little bit. Were you Cosworth? Because you didn't help me at all. Frigid Sledgehammer. We are going to leave it. Ooh, a lightweight combat, combat armor left arm. We are going to take that, though. All right, what else have you got? You got your little eating area for the raiders. Very nice. You guys are special and well organized. What's back here? Sleeping area. Can forego that. Let's go upstairs. I mean, they've made a nice place for themselves. I love this place. I think it's awesome. If I could turn this into a settlement for myself, I would be so happy. That would be amazing if you could, wouldn't it? I mean, just amazing. Some beds. Oh, bed in a safe. Yes. Um, Cosworth, it might have been locked for a reason, but now it is not. Let's take this U.S. Covert nice. Operations Manual. Oh, 
took that mini nuke. Yep, he had a nuke. Usually he only has a freaking missile launcher. This time he wanted to fry my face off. Lovely. What else have we got? Uh, nothing there that I want. Just a bed. Just a bed. And now for the important part. A X6, excuse me. A the captain's cabin. We are almost to the top. Hold up a moment, ma'am. There's something important I need to tell you. Mm, go on. What is it? I'm going to give you B592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say, B-592, initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code, Gamma-71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. All right. Well, yeah, let's avoid violence then. Good. I'd like to avoid any unnecessary violence. A wise decision, Mom. Thanks, well, Cosworth. he might not be alone up there. Violence might be inevitable. That's all, ma'am. Ready when you are. Okie dokie. We'll be. A moment, perhaps? Sure, Cosworth. We're sure, Cosworth. Fine. What's up? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. You don't have a chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Oh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. Um, okay, so let's say I'm sorry? I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden, not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, Mum, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. At first it was the work, but eventually the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, Mum. Memories of you and the hubby, young Sean. Of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the husband, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. Well, I... Yeah, sorry it took so long. Sorry it took so long. I only wish we could have all gotten out, as a family. As do I, Mum. As do I. It is unfortunate. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as more. Yeah, Codsworth's our family. I consider you to be family too, Codsworth. We're in this world for the long haul. Together. Miss Scully, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Oh, we shall. We shall. Okay, so what have we got here? Ooh. Bingo. This is the terrible shotgun, and we are going to take it. That is the unique weapon of this place. There is also a terminal we're going to want to take a peek at. Right here. Gabriel's Terminal. Command prompt log. Okay. Okay. I don't care about that. Archive for user James Wire. May 2282. So here we are, our new home. Only casualty was one of Anderson's less useful toes. Otherwise, I'd say cleaning the mire lurks out of these old hulks went pretty well. Now we just have to figure out what to do next. Been a long time since any of us knew life outside the Minutemen, but General Becker was the only thing holding those folks together. Now that he's dead, it's just a matter of time until the militia start turning on each other. Not worth sticking around for that, but we can make something of this place. I know it, we're going to have to. Oh, so Minutemen turn raiders? Okay, this is November. We're running through food a lot faster than we'd planned. People are starting to get hungry. We're rationing, but the scouts need to turn up something soon or we're in trouble. December, same year. 
I had Anderson and Williams hang today, not pleased about executing the best guns we still had, but it needed to be done. End of last month, they started finding big caches of food and supplies. We were starving, so I didn't ask where it came from. Then today, we get a visit from the Bunker Hill guards. Turns out my boys had been hitting the caravans, feeding us the spoils. I gave the guards my word these those boys would see justice, and I keep my word. But justice doesn't put food in my people's mouths. February of 83. No fucking more. Another caravan stick my boys. This mercenary shit we've been driven to isn't worth it when bastards don't pay. I they like writing anymore wow well i mean we all know i mean it, you should know that hunger drives people to do things they wouldn't otherwise do so i'm not entirely surprised sweet nope got what i wanted out of that some bobby pins don't mind if i do uh, we already looked in there. Ah, don't mind if I do with those also. And it looks like we need to go up and outside after I unlock this tool case. Got it. Nice. Anything else? Not really. All right, you guys ready for this? Let's do it. Your gear, I'm gonna guess you two are agents just like me. So, made it to the top. Is the Institute so desperate for resources that it's stealing plunder from honest, hard working Commonwealth gangs? Yeah, I'm gonna use your recall code. Thanks. 592 initialize factory reset. Authorization Gamma 71 Epsilon. What? Are you okay? Nope. Gabriel, can you hear me? Nope, he can't. Wow, he he hits kind of hard. I didn't like that. Oh. Oh. Nice, work. There we go. nice work, ma'am. I'll take the synth back. Okay. Go get him. This is X688. Ready to relay with reclaim synth B592. Bye bye. All right. End of dungeon steamer truck here and just some plasma cartridges and other stuff here. Um, I love this. They've got like a platform here to look out. Look at this. This is this whole thing is was all run by this raider. It's just it's huge and it's awesome. Um, we should also have. Okay, and then he's got a, I love this, he's got a diving platform off the back so he can jump into the water. That's pretty awesome. Cosworth, can you, can I, okay, master terminal? Let's see how good we do. Crossroads, huh? Um, nope, it's not gonna be that. Okay. Give me a minute, let's see if I can get this open.
Ah, son of a bitch. In and out. Out and in. Try this again. There we go. Open up that safe. Disengage that lock. Beautiful. Not a whole lot in there, but still. Okay, let us go back to the Institute. Da -da 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 -da. Here. Turn this sucker in. Ugh. Bam, we're back. All right, let's go to father here. Since he's my son, I don't like calling him father at all. There's no reason I should call him father. Let's go back to Sean. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Sure, rogue people can be, you know, can be dangerous too, but why do you care? Why do you care what happens on the surface? You're in your own world down here. Because there are forces on the surface that could pose a threat to us. And only a fool ignores a possible threat. We might diminish that danger by correcting the false perception that we intend some great harm to mankind. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. Uh -huh. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Alrighty, visit our quarters. And to do that, we need to go down to where that level where the tube is that connects the levels together, which... Eh, which is supposed to be above uh, <laughs> above the doc, uh, director's office, but that's okay. Or director's quarters. That's okay, we'll do this. Sir, we've had another situation. A code red. What? This is the third time in two weeks. This is unacceptable. How could this happen? We think there was a system glitch. We're looking into it. Damn it, you're all useless. I'll figure out what happened. In the meantime, tell the others to be on high alert. I want more patrols and more rounds. Right away, sir. If you see anything even remotely suspicious, report it immediately. This absolutely cannot happen again. Got it? Yes, sir. Understood. He is so mean to the sense. So, so mean to the sense. Okay. One more level. One more level. And this way. Ah, hello. Your new quarters are here now. What's up, X6? When you're finished here, ma'am, Father wants to see you. Okay. Ooh, and the level up. And these are our quarters in the Institute. They're not huge. Um, but they're, they are hours all right so i think this is where we're gonna leave this right now and um in the next episode i think we're gonna go through the fev lab and get virgil serum for him 
um, because we owe him big time for getting us in here. So we are going to definitely repay him. Um, and there's some interesting lore back there about it too. So that's always interesting. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, you have been watching Mom Plays. You can follow me on Twitter at Tonya Trees or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Tonya T. And I will catch you all next time.